In companies of all sizes, there's a host of tasks related to managing current and future staff needs. Hiring for new positions, arranging time off, managing payroll, training sessions, and so on. We argue that whether you employ 5 or 500 people, it's a process worth visualizing, automating, and keeping tabs on from a shared central place. Let's take a look at how this HR team does it. They decided to store all their work on one team-wide Kanban tool board. The approach saves them a lot of board switching. However, using a separate project for each work type could also have its benefits, for example more strict information control. Each swim lane on this board represents a different kind of work, and every team member can focus on the one that matters to them while collapsing the rest out of view. They have three main board columns, one for general information and tips, then a master column for the ongoing process work, and the last one for feedback gathering and any process improvement ideas. The actual work happens in the ongoing work column, which splits itself into four stages, to do, scheduled tasks, tasks in progress, and completed work. Most of the time, the team is only viewing these four middle columns. Now, for the rows or swim lanes of the board, they currently have these types. An employee status information, where each worker has their card with all data and an ID. An open position swim lane. In here, the team plans and processes job advertisements, plans interviews, and gathers feedback on new prospect hires. Next, the employee onboarding swim lane holds tasks related to introducing new workers to the company. In the following row, the team processes any working time or location disputes, clarifying any issues. Then, there is the expenses management swim lane. Needless to say, it's where employees' receipts are being noted and reimbursed. Following that, there's a row for keeping tabs on planned leaves, holidays, and sick days. Next row's tasks are to do with any salary changes and ending employment contracts. The following swim lane is for planning yearly performance reviews. Together with the leaves and absences row, they both mostly rely on automatic tasks generation, done with recurring tasks. And the last swim lane notes planned training sessions and external courses that people have signed up for through the company. All tasks relating to a given employee can be identified by their name or ID. The team can also take a peek at all ongoing matters for a given person by viewing any of their tasks dependencies. Having all of one person's tasks connected is much appreciated in contact with the employee. The HR team member can deal with all of an employee's items at once when they have them on the phone or in their office. The team has several reusable checklist templates on file for work that always needs to follow a rigid set of steps, such as the onboarding of a new person, the process of closing collaboration with someone, arranging a training session, and so on. Thanks to this, a one-set work standard is easier to maintain. To keep tabs on time-sensitive tasks, the team uses the interactive calendar view and board filters together with due date reminder emails. Now, what is the HR team gaining by visualizing their work in this way? First of all, there will be no place for the excuse of having forgotten about something. But more importantly, keeping their HR work on the Kanban tool board saves the team heaps of time and effort, minimizes the need for meetings and updates repeats to each team member separately. Through the combined work time and effort reduction, the team is not only saving money, it is also limiting job frustration by keeping the busy work to a minimum, which leaves them more energy for human interactions with the employees. Altogether, it means a more productive and happier HR force. Try Kanban Tool with your team for free at KanbanTool.com.